Amen. of Christ in the level he wants you to be now. That is where Amen. you were this time. In the Amen. name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Thank you. I saw the Lord showed me financial open doors without limit. It's flowing like an ocean of river. Amen. But I hear the Lord saying that there is somebody in particular that this is ordained for. But by virtue of proxy, everyone connected now, by faith you tap into that flow. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I hear you this one, the Lord said, he said that message has been communicated in your heart already. And sometimes when God says one, it may mean many people. But that's what I'm saying as I'm hearing. What he's telling me to tell you that one, that he, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, I should tell you that one. You have heard this is the third time from a prophet about telling you of the financial open door. So you confirm it from that third time position. At least 10 times. I mean, at least 10 time. It cannot be less than 10 times to be. That one is specific. But everyone is connected there by faith if you can receive it. I pray every one of you receive it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, that person in particular, the Lord is saying, as this confirmation is coming to your witness, even now, as you are hearing, at the end of this meeting, take your quiet time, even in the next 5, 10, 15 minutes, and make a vow for God, what you are going to do for his kingdom and his work. In that vow, vow with him a person of the open doors. That means it's now moving you just the same way we ask about to bring tithe of 10%. It's moving you to agree with him in a covenant of a percentage and you begin to see his hand as much as you be faithful to begin to commit to his kingdom and his kingdom assignment or his kingdom uh, servants as he directs you, you begin to enter that level because I saw written on your head, forehead G-O-G. Man. That G-O-D God is saying that you are a symbol of God's manifestation of wealth. Amen. That means your greatness is programmed Amen. to what we call God's manifestation Amen. in that dimension. Amen. May you receive it and respond in your agreement with God from your vow from today, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that the Lord have his way in your life. Amen. Allow the Lord to have his way in your life. Amen. So Moses, I want to have my way through you to deliver the people. Moses said, Lord, you know, I'm a stammerer. Some of you have given him too much of these excuses in different forms. I pray now that the spirit of excuses get out of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You that find yourself every time trying to justify anything that they ask you that you are wrong. You are a victim of that spirit of excuses. It's a fertilizer never to enter into greatness. That's why I wrote in my new book, The Fallen Optimism. No excuses. No blame game. No procrastination. Yes. These are the fertilizers of the devil to hold people from entering their manifestation. But the Lord is in this declaration with your agreement, flushing them out of your mind because that Amen. is a stronghold of this resistance. Amen. So may by the blood of Jesus, the ocean of the blood flush over your mind now. Amen. Flush over your mind now. Amen. Everything that doesn't agree with Christ in your mind, blood of Jesus, wash them out in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you allow God have his way in your heart? I hear God saying, can you allow him have his way in your pause? Yes. The air is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He owns you, including whatever you call your wealth. 
your money. Yes. Okay. Allow him have his way to direct his usage. Okay. Allow him have his way to direct your action. Go ahead and begin to pray. If you can pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit. Appropriate every word declared over you prophetically. Saratu tekea pradonka. Receive them, receive them, receive them. Ashito koparadia katali klantin klaprang loka paradia. Lehara braku selia gadi galaba. Ekeke teli kataria klangadi galia klangadoria. Edera kata likra para toka tia pray. Resute kalabrea kadolia. No more delay. No more delay to the manifestation of God's miracles in your life. No more delay to that breakthrough. No more failure. No more delay. It is a time for manifestation. Klaborita takatita titia kaparia takopa. Father, it is an hour for for us to manifest that which you have called us in. Thank you, Father. It's my birthright in the name of Jesus. I claim it from today. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now you're going to pray this other prayer very effective. Have your way. The devil, as I said, he will not confront a Christian or a believer in the same way he will confront an unbeliever. You approach believers with a high level of wisdom. That's why Paul says we need to be filled with the knowledge of God's will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And so that sometimes is captured in the form of what we can call tactics. Delay tactics. You know, for example, the excuse that Moses was trying to give to the Lord was a set of delay tactics of the devil. Remember that at a certain point, it sounded like God was grief. That's why the Bible said the Holy Spirit can be grief and can even quench, right? Mm -hmm. Because God has a manifestation. In his manifestation, there is emotion. Until God, in the form of kind of annoyance, asked him, <coughs> who is the one that made those who are deaf and dumb? But that was a, an excuse that was a delay tactics because that situation even moved to the extent that Moses even by himself would have been killed on the fact that he could not remember the circumcision for his own son that was now causing the anger of God because the principle cannot be bypassed if that son was not circumcised the anger was going to kill Moses all that were crowded in that junk of doubt that he was almost trying to present. Now, if Moses would have been killed, would, what would have happened there now? The deliverance of the people would have been delayed again. It would take at least another 50 or 40 years for a child to be born and grow to that age because there have to be a miracle for the spirit of Moses to manifest now in another dimension of another circle. That was a delay tactics. All the excuses. If you do wrong, just say, Lord, have mercy. Don't explain any excuse to people. All the justification. They are the delay tactics. Every delay tactics. Robbing me. Of God's manifestation for the now. Be destroyed. Amen. Amen. Now the words don't really matter, but the emotional discharge is required for your mind to have a conditioned position. 
Some of the tactics you know, some of the things, some you don't. But the Lord is saying that that is a serious hindrance to most of the people I'm talking now. That they are waiting for the devil to come with some horns on his head as Satan. He's already in their backyard as their best friend. They are suggesting good things to them, like Peter to Christ. Don't go to the cross. Don't do this, that, that. And they sound nice. We will protect you, Lord. We won't allow you to fight until we die. To delay the salvation of the whole human race. To delay the manifestation of God in Christ, in his own destiny. Now, loud and clear, let all delay tactics organize against me. Organize against me. Scattered now. Scattered now. Anyhow, the tactics have been organized. You are going to, as I leave you, pray that prayer. Let them be scattered. Invoke the blood by the blood. Invoke the spirit by the spirit. Invoke the word by fire, whatever. Every delay tactics organize against God's agenda for your life. Let them be scattered now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As I leave you, pray as much as you can pray. Again, loud and clear. Every delay tactics organize against my life. Every delay tactics organize against the manifestation of God in my life. Of God through my life. Of God through my life. For my family. For my family. For my nation. For my nation. And my generation. And the entire kingdom of God. Every delay tactics. Organize. Against God's manifestation. In and through my life. Yeah. Right now, by the authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command them be scattered now. Be scattered now. Be scattered now. Be scattered now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Remember, you ask in the name of the Lord Jesus, it will be done. Let every delay tactics organize against the manifestation of God in my life. For any reason, be scattered now. Every delay tactics organize against the manifestations of the Lord God Almighty concerning my life. Be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered. Let all their network and their household be completely eliminated. Pray, pray, pray. Declare loud and clear. Let every delay tactics organize spiritually by psychic demonic forces. Physically, by human satanic agent in manipulation, even by blind witches and wizards, let them be scattered, let them be scattered, let them be scattered. You must experience freedom. You must experience the manifestation of God for your life. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want you to be very spiritually sensitive now. Because I'm aware when the anointing of God is taking me in a different level. And it's always mostly towards the end of when I want to close. I'm going to start looking at your images. 
and ministering to you people as the Lord directs. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Father. That image that is directly under me. Pin it. Call the name. Let the person respond. Imanu Barake. Okay. Yes, Emmanuel, are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. I see you now, where I'm seeing you. Like a small child running away from a bush. And from that bush by the right side of the where you are running, there's kind of like it's like the bank of an ocean. But the image of that running shows that there is a force following you, hunting you. And that force that is hunting you have attachment with the marine serpentine spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And that power, which I, it has a connotation of attachment of human beings involved, which I'm not going to say anything about the people's name. Is responsible to so many, many things happening in your life. But what the Lord is saying now is that it is lately that you have tried to start taking him serious. He wants you to meet up. That your destiny is so great. The image of what I'm seeing by that water itself is sounding not just like ocean, but looking very bright, like bright cloud. That, the symbol to that is the kind of brightness of your destiny. Mm. And these Amen. powers are trying to fight every way to suffocate everything about that. And that is why you have to step up because you see, he said to whom much is given, much is required. Yes. Once yes. you don't know, once you carry a kind of great destiny, you are going to face some kind of battle that ordinary other people who doesn't have that kind of destiny are not going to face. Yes. And that's why there's a uniqueness of you to depend totally on the ultimate authority and power, which is strictly to be embedded in Christ. Like even the message I put recently about the mystery of in Christ. So the Lord is now saying that the hour of your complete turnaround is now. Amen. Now the, those powers, they have made the greatest error that they did not kill you before now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And because, and this is applied to every one of you, whatever has not killed you before now, yes, will never kill you again. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, by the virtue of this decree as the Lord has revealed, I activate the angels of the living God in the waters to go against those marine serpentine evil spirits. Amen. Amen. Everything about, oh my goodness. I saw a reaction coming to against what I've just said coming from the ocean in Limbe. When I said this, I saw like a kind of fish jump out of the water. And I happened that I traveled around that place recently, just last year when I went to Cameroon, when I was going to Nigeria to meet the harbinger of the last covenant. And I reached around the same point, the Lord showed me something about that place as a very strong hole. So it actually culminated that you should actually have something to do relating to that ocean by your, your birth and your life. But by the power of the Holy Ghost as the Christ anointing that is released now. Because I saw in God's agenda you have a mighty role to play in his end time agenda concerning that nation. Amen. 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 Father, because of what you have ordained for your son, Emmanuel, let all the angels you have positioned in the water fight against all those satanic marine principalities. Amen. And disconnect every of his attachment attached to them. In the name Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I declare your freedom and deliverance in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank There's you, a woman. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
They say woman. Thank you. They say woman. Lord, let me not call the name. They say woman. Conspiring with those powers. But today, just watch whatever will be happening. We pray for mercy for genuine confessions and repentance faster. But as you take the step to hold Christ and by what you have heard to follow this connection, it's unfortunate if you don't confess earlier enough because your deliverance is already sealed. It must happen. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are the one I saw that G-O-D on your forehead is shining now very brightly as I'm seeing. Amen. I decree and I declare God must lead you to that which he has called you for. Amen. And whatever power stands against it will not stand. Amen. In the name of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. After today, that G-O-D symbolizing three letters, symbolizing the Trinity, God Amen. says, go on a three days fasting. Amen. I don't know whether you are used to fasting, but I have just withdrawn the word dry because I don't know how you feel it, but that's the statement. Wow. Receive it, Lord Jesus. Go on a three days dry fasting as after this message from today. At the end of the fasting, don't eat cooked food. That means eat only fruits. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And on the third day, you call me to pray with you and make some pronouncement. Amen. There is an angel that is now assigned with a flaming sword on his hand that is going to fight the war Amen. and disconnect every covenant that is attached to you because I see your placenta has an inscription of a covenant in that water. Amen. I don't know where they kept your placenta when you were born, but something is showing that it was visited at that hour. The Lord has visited you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Thank Lord. You, Father. Thank Everybody you. lift up your hands wherever you are and begin to praise the Lord. Give him praise. Clan Umbaria Tikasia Lia Ababaria to Shokoliaba Zendilia Apra Futeli Paradin Kasia Luba Go back to try to get that person again. Patience. Her name is Patience. Patience. Can you unmute yourself? She doesn't know. She said she said she cannot do it. Is there even nobody there to unmute her? Because I need, I need her sound to combinate the ministration. Father, let your mercy help this woman. I see a kind of dark cloud hovering around her. Some of the things I have to say, I have to hear her respond to combinate the agreement. Let's just lift up our hands wherever you are. Stretch your hand towards our image and ask the Lord's mercy for our deliverance. Lord, 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 Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Can she, does she type the information? That's how she knew she cannot mute. Yes. Okay. If I say something, let her respond with a type. Have you ever have you ever had 
That's sister or Madam Patience. Patience. I don't know whether it's my patience. Surely it looks like an elderly person. My patience, have you experienced any kind of serious case of forceful accusation on something which is related to maybe I can just say kind of accusation relating to witchcraft or something that is supposed that you are accused that you have done something because I'm seeing something showing negative on that part. If you have any of those kind of situations, okay. is she a widow? Are you a widow? She asked, she replied, she said, no, sir. No, I'm asking now whether she's a widow. She said she's married. She's married. She said I'm married. Okay, the husband is still alive. Because I'm looking at something that came on her. I'm trying to find out the reason. I'm trying to check all those messages. That's the reason why when her voice speaks, because the sound has energy, it will actually activate my ability to connect with the flow of the anointing to tap into seeing clearly what is in her spirit. Can you type any particular prayer point that if God is standing before you now, one prayer point or one thing you want him to do for you? Salvation of family. How many children do you have? The two children. No one knows Christ. And the husband. By her own evaluation, does any of them really know Christ or strong in Christ? By your own evaluation. None knows Christ. Including your husband. Because I see a number three. That means the two children and the husband. Do you experience some kind of, uh, I don't know what I call it, mockery, challenge from them on the basis of like you following Christ the way you are following? Yes. That's part of what I'm seeing. Because there's an activation of a cloak, a negative cloak. Because that is something representing the position of what they are having in their mind about what you are following. They are not seeing you the way you are really. That's the reason why they are not following. They don't see until they look at what you are doing like wasting of time and something, something else. But the Lord has visited you because I wouldn't even still be coming back to you after I cannot get you speak. But it shows that the Lord is doing something. I will need you to forward the names of those your two children and your husband. And if any if they are believing, if they are part of any kind of different religion or something else, you you, you also indicate there. And then I think in that also you put your phone contact there. I will need to take that matter to the Lord and get back, back to you. No, I'll have to look at this one. Later. Let's not just mention them. We have to take note of that. Uh, Sister Sabina. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Are you reading the, the information she's texting? Yes. Okay, so take note of those names that she has written. Okay. The husband and the two children and the number. So note them down. You get them to me after tomorrow. Everybody stretch your hand towards the image. The Lord God that shows that symbol of G-O-D in the forehead of somebody. Right now, by the message of that same God, I assign every of that letter to one of these, your three family members. Your husband. Amen. Your son and your daughter. Amen. Amen. The three of them by the hand of the Lord who seek the sight of God in you. Yes. And they will follow your God in Christ. In Amen. the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, let the spirit of your name by your power, you said whatsoever we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus, it will be done. 
We ask that the angels as ministering spirit, the laborers, even angelic and human, go after these family members for your daughter patients. Go after the husband, go after the son, go after the daughter and communicate to them the ministry of salvation. Let the angels go and clear away all those spirits that are misrepresenting their mother before them. Let the angels clear away all those cloaks and garments of darkness and let them see the sight of Christ in her to follow. Let the right men and women, servants of yours, that carries the gospel of salvation, that have influence in their life, come their way. Let the gospel of salvation come their way. When they are sleeping, let them hear it. When they are awake, let them hear it. When they watch anything on the television, on the internet, let them hear the gospel. When they are walking, let the earth speak to them for salvation. We ask by Amen. mercy, O God, that the laborer bring them into your kingdom. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let the power of you, Jehovah God, be evident in their life. Amen. Thank you, Father, for sending forth your laborers. As we have prayed in agreement in the name of the Lord Jesus, we consider it done. In the name Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And now, Madam Omar Patience, with your agreement, the Lord has heard your family, like the household of the jailer, will follow you in your God. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Continue to show them love. Continue to pray for the Lord to continue to forgive them for whatever they do or say against you. Continue to do everything as Christ's way. And they are going to begin to see I say even in your husband's perspective, the Lord is speaking. Play your role as a wife. Continue Amen. to play effective role as a wife. Amen. And continue by your knees before the Lord. As Paul said, I bow my knee to pray. That the Amen. Lord will open his eyes to see. Amen. What you saw in Christ before you came to Christ, God will open his eyes and the eyes of your son and daughter to see the same thing. Amen. until they see that thing in their heart they cannot follow your God Amen. and they will see it part of your actions and your attitude and your character yes. your husband Amen. is going to exclaim within the point of time Amen. how did you suddenly change in certain things those changes will be used by the Holy Spirit to communicate him and when he said so how did you change if you ask any question of surprise whether your husband or husband, just tell them it is that Christ I'm following that taught me to do so amen that, that by itself will be the biggest message you have preached for their salvation amen the lord bless you as you have agreed it is done in the name of our lord jesus christ amen. Amen. thank you father go back to that thank you, lord jesus everybody just begin to pray with the spirit and thank the lord thank the lord thank, thank the lord, lord. Thank the lord. Thank the lord. Okay. I don't know exactly who, but I'm seeing a promise of something they promise you. The Lord is saying, don't go after that promise. I don't know what I promise. That is already at your awareness or maybe planning to come in motion. But there's something that is a counterfeit coming through that way. Hmm. Father, let's stretch our hand towards that image. We ask for the spirit of sensi sensitivity, yes, the spirit of discernment. The ability for her to descend okay. and by your leading to know and not to fall the trap of any plan of the devil. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let it be well with her that she will hear and understand, not just hear. And she will act by that understanding. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ.
Amen. Amen. I don't know what is happening to your left ear, but I activate the fire of God to pass through that ear now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Whatever my Father in heaven has not planted in that ear, Father, right now let the ability to hear even beyond the aspect of human hearing, the ability to hear by the sound of the Spirit, Amen. come upon her mightily. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, from your left ear, as you continue to praise and worship God, follow God, you are going to get to a point you begin to hear the voice of God clearly from that ear sounding very audible. The Lord's fire is passing through it as a channel to create the flow of communication. Uh, God picks some of these things sometimes in people's life. Some, some people you can pick physical ear on the right, sometimes the two ears, some, some, so mostly the primary communication is within by the spirit, but there are other activation that goes within the out, outward aspect. Hallelujah. Amen. So by this prayer and this direction, the spirit of God by fire has entered that your ear from the left ear and yes. goes through. So it's activated I don't know where, where you are standing now, but can you, from where you are standing, because here in America, it's easy to know where is south, where is north, where is east, where is uh, the position. If, where you are standing now, can you tell us, like I can know whether my right hand is by the east side of that city or that part, or is by the north side or by the left. I need to know what position, whether it's north side or east side where that your left side of your ear is on mute you are muted what is, what can I, I, hope I am in texas yes but in the city you are in the united states it's easy for you to for here for you to know whether where north is anywhere you stand you can know the north the south the east the west so even if you are not standing where it's exactly to the posture, I want to know the direction where that your left side ear is now. This is my left side ear. Yes, in that, or I'm not, I don't show whether you easily to understand what I need to do. As I'm standing here now, yes. my right side in this position is in the direction of east here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My right side here is in the direction of east. My left side is in the direction of west. My face here is in the direction of north. So I need to know which side that your left side here is positioning now. Because there's a message relating to north and east about it. But it looks like it may be difficult for you to identify that. Mm -hmm. I would if, have needed I, to know. Well, if I stand as we we're pointing, I think it's by the east. Okay. The east. Okay, because if I, I stand the way you stood, yes, I will turn around. It will be by the east. Okay. Thank you, Father, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let the spirit Thank of the Father. east wind. Thank you. Let the bride and the morning star that rises from the east continue to rise by the voice of God in her. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the bright and morning star rise from the east. Thank you, Lord. Ah, Thank you. Kanti andu sikapala. Every morning from the hour of 4 a.m., I encourage you not to be, if you are sleeping, make sure you are awake at that time. Every morning from the hour of 4 a.m. Between 4 a.m. at least to 5 a.m., there will be continuous communication of god's messages to you very powerful amen the, the rising of the sun comes with the messages that comes to you and as you grow in that you'll probably be hearing the more clear i mean audible on that from that point of ear amen. father i thank you that thank you, you give her the ability to receive and every message that you have for the world for her life for her family for everyone will be understood when it comes in the amen. name of our lord jesus christ thank amen. you lord Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Let's give God a, a, a serious clap of praise and let's give him praise.
for his goodness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. No more delay. No more delay of God's manifestation in our lives. No failure anymore. Every delay tactics of any kind. I pray that the Lord clear them away. The Lord Jesus says, what I say to you, I say to all. So whenever you are in the atmosphere where God is speaking, even when he points people, you can connect and also receive it because it's applied to all. Everybody can receive from God by faith whatever is given to one person. Amen. That's why most times even when he says something, he says one. We will actually have sometimes applied to many people. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now everybody just say this. The blood. The blood. Now say the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to expect you to just shout the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Seven times continuously. Yes. Now, when you shout the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ seven times, after the number seven times, wherever you are, go down on your knees and start worshipping God. Yes. Take note about that, except there is a problem with your knee. Yes, Lord. But if there is a problem with your knee, do some form of bowing in respect to worship to him. Amen. As we are going to be shouting the blood, we are getting our spirit in the center of his spirit. Thank you. Jesus. Shout any house, free as you are. Maybe some of you are in a kind of houses or where you are no one. To, if you shout too much, you disturb others. So mm. moderate it the way you do it. But if you are in a freak where your shout will not disturb, shout to the best of your ability because it mm. is an act. That's remember the cry of faith mystery that we talked about. Yes. He said the blood of sprinkling, referring to the blood of Jesus, speaks. Yes. And he speaks not average things better. He speaks better things. Amen. The remaining things that you are mouth in your prayer point cannot speak before the throne. The blood is going to speak them now on your behalf. Amen. And as you are shouting, invoking that blood, it will begin to vibrate all over the realms of the spirit. Amen. So get ready. We are going to shout the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ seven times yes. when I ask you to shout. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. And again, take note, these are prophetic instructions. What did I say? You are shouting the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That is different with the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Watch out, because I know when we are already used to a particular thing and an instruction has a bit of change, it's easy to flow back to the very thing. The Lordship must be added there. Because we are invoking the blood to speak and manifest for us what the Lord Jesus as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords sitting on the position of all authority and power is now in control of to manifest. Putting a seal of some things that he said even if we have asked, we don't even ask all as we supposed to. So that's what we are going to invoke shouting the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Now get ready. When I say in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you start shouting. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something a little bit about this. I'm some of you just have an idea to know exactly what we are going to do now. It's a very serious prophetic action. These are not things that are regular. They come when the Lord indicates them. You see that thing that some people do they wake up very early in the morning and start saying, Allah Kuba, Allah mm -hmm. Kuba, Allah Kuba. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they keep on repeating it as right? Yeah. Actually, to the meaning to them, and to the meaning in English means God is great. Mm -hmm. Now, the dimension of the God they know is okay, but yeah. why do they say that and repeating it? Now, you are in the dimension of a greater spirit of the Holy Ghost, which is culminated, activated by the blood. You are going to, when you invoke this like this, you are activating some power, not some, the almightiness of everything that that blood is representing. 
and which is all symbolized as the throne that Christ is sitting on. Some chains will be falling off by just this shout. Amen. Amen. Some demons on the ground are going to get out. Amen. There's going to be a spiritual commotion and earthquake. Amen. So Amen. Get ready. Get ready. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood 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 of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go down on your knees and begin to worship the Lord. Lekaha prasoke teliba. Esian katele parati. Emete ketele keperete keteripa. Mama na mikata. Lord, we worship. You. I worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. I worship you for the blood. I worship for your power in the blood. I worship you for your power in the blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rati 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 Thank, thank you, Lord, for your precious blood. We thank, thank you for your blood on the cross of Calvary in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the evidence of the price paid for our salvation and liberation. Thank you for your precious blood on the cross of Calvary, Lord. Oh, who reketen dera bo bere kasa nara kata taka la kasi biro biro bo baka nanda bo be 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 bo reke seken dera bo baka nakata dera kasi biro bo raka nanda bo be kita who reketen dera bo baka we give you the glory, Lord God, for your precious blood on the cross of Calvary, for your finished work on the Calvary, Lord Jesus. Who reke dera 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 ba kara kasi biro bo baka 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 seken dera bo baka nanda kata. Thank you for your precious blood on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for your blood on the cross of Calvary. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have worship. Amen. You cannot come before the throne and worship the king and go back the same. Amen. Even when another great king as the queen, queen of Sheba, uh, Queen of Ethiopia, in the language of today, as the mighty king of such great empire, came to visit another king who was manifesting majestic of God's splendor at the hour. She brought great, great gifts, but she went back with greater gifts. You came to God, the almighty king of kings on his throne. Invoking his blood to speak for you. And you express your heart of worship to him. He is lavishing on you now the decorated gifts you need. Amen. Can you see them by faith and begin to receive them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now as you stand, you are standing into your throne as a king. The Lord Amen. Jesus says that in the book of Revelation, he has made us kings and priests Amen. Amen. you are that royalty whether yes, as a Lord. king or a queen if you want to call yourself for yes, gender Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. stand yes, on Lord. your feet take Thank your you seat or if you like you can still stand as Thank that you, queen Lord. as that Thank king you. that you are in the Thank kingdom you. the Lord has decorated you like he Thank decorated you. the prodigal son when he came back <laughs> As we sing this song, I want you to sing it in your end, believing what you are singing as a praise that indeed God has released to you. Your name might have not been called personal, but everything spoken that you have connected by faith you have received. Because there is power in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ's power is working and will continue to work for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go. Hallelujah. Amen. 
by the power in the blood. Christ power in the blood. Holy Ghost power in the blood. Lord of Jesus sets me free. Lord of Jesus has set me free. Lord of Jesus has set us free. Lord of Jesus has set me free. Lord of Jesus has set us free. Lord of Jesus sets me free. Lord of Jesus sets you free. Lord of Jesus sets me free. Lord of Jesus sets you free. Oh. By the power in the blood, Christ power in the blood, Holy Ghost power in the blood, Lord of Jesus set us free. Holy Ghost power in the blood, Lord of Jesus has set us free. Holy Ghost power in the blood, Lord of Jesus has set us free. Lord of Jesus has set me free, Lord of Jesus has set you free. Lord of Jesus has set me free, Lord of Jesus has set you free. Lord of Jesus, set us 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 free. Oh, blood of Jesus, I set us free. Lord of Jesus, I set us free. Lord of Jesus, I set us free. Lord of Jesus, I set us free. Oh, by the power in the blood, Christ power in the blood, Holy Ghost power in the blood, blood of Jesus set us free. By the power in the blood, Christ power in the blood, Holy Ghost power in the blood. Thank you, Father, for our freedom. Lord of Jesus, set us free. Thank you, Father, for our freedom. Your voice is please. Lord of Jesus, set us free. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for our freedom. Lord of Jesus, set us free. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for our freedom. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for our freedom. Oh, there is power in the blood, Christ power in the blood, Holy Ghost power in the blood, Lord of Jesus, I set us free. I want you to sing and believe that you have been set free by the power of God in the blood. Indeed, you are set free. No power of darkness can subject anyone. By the power in the blood, Christ power in the blood, Holy Ghost power in the blood. Lord of Jesus sets us free. Lord of Jesus has set me free. Lord of Jesus has set you free. Lord of Jesus has set me free. Lord of Jesus has set you free. Oh, thank you, Father, for our freedom. 
Thank you, Jesus, for our freedom. Thank you, Father, for our freedom. Thank you, Jesus, for our freedom. Oh, thank you, Father, for our freedom. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for our freedom. Thank you, Father, for our freedom. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for our freedom. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, I decree and I declare every trace of the remaining yoke of delay in any aspect of your life. I command those yoke be destroyed now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. With your agreement, you can unmute yourself now. I need to get your responses. Go to the gallery, Joshua. With your agreement, I decree and I declare on behalf of Africa and Africans, and by extension the black race all over the world and by extension the entire children of God that every yoke of satanic delay on anyone delaying the manifestation of their breakthrough every remaining trace of the yoke of satanic delay against Africa, Africans and the nations and the people and the people of God all over the world, I command the yoke by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the blood of the Lord Jesus be destroyed now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Makupiri yaro santa babakian toto brea klandi katili shakatali karaparato somebody's left leg karati ankati I see a chain on that leg nananiya no kapanda liketa Holy Ghost that is a chain of backwardness drawing the person back ananiya nakatambra on the left left leg there is an ancestral covenant. I command every invisible chain of delay holding you back from progress. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume that chain now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume that invisible chain now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Morititia akaprarito parentia sokaleta paradija. No more delay, 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 no more delay. Receive it, receive it, no more delay, no more delay, no more delay. Wherever you are, no more delay. Make an action of fear of reception, no more delay. Amen. I receive it in the name of the hour of your manifestation has come. No chain of backwardness, no chain of stagnation, no chain of retrogression is permitted anymore in your life. Amen. By the authority and the anointing of Jehovah God upon my life as one of his oracle in this hour, I command those chains be consumed of your life, be consumed of your progress, be consumed of your manifestation. And I Amen. declare your freedom evident by the 
price paid of our Lord Jesus Christ upon his blood. I declare you free in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare you free in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I declare your progress free from backwardness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I declare your breakthroughs and miracles free from every satanic covenant in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That spirit of restlessness upon you, I revoke it of your life. I revoke that spirit of restlessness. I revoke that spirit of your life. Go out. Let the people of God go free from whatever is holding them back. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. We bless you, Father, for the freedom of your people. Thank you, Father, for the freedom. We bless you, Father. We bless you in the name of Every covenant agreement on your behalf working against you. The blood of Jesus nullified them. Amen. In the Amen. name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. To end here for today, let's give the Lord Jesus the biggest club offering. Amen. Praise His holy name. Give Him the biggest club offering. Praise Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for what He has done. And we praise him for what you do. So, as we round up the prayers for today, we are reminded tomorrow of our last Sunday of the month of September, Christ Disciples Fellowship. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And this is an instruction from the Holy Spirit. Every one of us here, make sure you invite at least two people to pray for them, remind them at the time of connecting, and let them join you for Tomorrow Christ Disciples Fellowship. It's 3 or 2 p.m. U.S. Central Time, 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can relate your time from there. It should be 8 p.m. in most part of Africa. 